Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Subject of my vlog today is how to avoid getting sick while in the Philippines. Before I get started, let me welcome my new viewers and new subscribers. Thank you so much for your kindness, your generosity, and your support of my channel. It's truly been amazing. I never take that for granted. I get a myriad of questions about sanitation in the Philippines and how safe is it to eat the street foods, to drink the water, do I need vaccines to get here and I've been coming to the Philippines on and off in April, it'll be 13 years. I've never been sick here and I just want to kind of pass on some of the things that I've learned in that time that kept me safe. You know, it's the worst thing probably in the world to go on a vacation or settle into a new country, especially being this far away and then you get sick, food poisoning. The worst I've had is cold symptoms, probably from touching a dirty doorknob or something, but nothing will mess up your vacation more than than coming down with a with an illness overseas. The first thing I talk about, and I probably get the most questions about, is vaccines. Are vaccines required for your entry into the Philippines? Now, we're going to talk about pre-pandemic, and the answer is no. Now, is there vaccines that the State Department recommends that you take? Absolutely. But do you need them pre-pandemic to enter into the Philippines? No, I've never taken a vaccine here. The only vaccine that I've taken in almost 13 years is recently I took the COVID vaccination. Now, I was in the service and, of course, in the United States, all through high school, you have to have your vaccination record updated. So I don't know if those vaccines are still active inside of me but I've never taken them and I've never gotten sick here yet I've talked to people like John they told me that they took hepatitis A hepatitis B it's a bunch of vac vaccines that the State Department uh, suggests that you take but they're not required to, to gain entry into the Philippines. That's something, if I were you, I would talk to my health care provider about, get their recommendation. Something else I'll talk about is the food here. You know, the Philippines gets a bad rap about their food. And I like to remind people all the time that it just depends on who's cooking the food. Now, just because it's different doesn't mean it's inferior. So the sanitation over here and the way they prepare the foods and everything may be different than what it is in your home country, but it doesn't mean it's inferior. But I will say this, so that you will know absolutely who's touching your food, where it's been, and everything along that little food chain, so to speak. I would eat at home as much as possible, or uh, whenever possible. In the long run, is it going to be cheaper? Probably not, because you can get some little meals out here in the street and different these little different restaurants for less than two dollars. But at least it's going to give you the peace of mind if that's something that you're worried about. So I would go down to the wet market or to the grocery store and just get my the foods that you want to cook and just cook them at home. But if you do cook or try the outside foods, which I would suggest you do, simply because it's part of the culture. You want to experience the culture. You're not in the Bahamas or somewhere like that. I mean, you're so close to home. 
if you're going to come way over here, you want to experience the culture, and the food is one of the ways to do that. I would suggest that you eat the street foods and eat a lot of the restaurants here and try out some of their dishes. But just make sure that you tell them to cook your food all the way. Don't um, eat uncooked food, especially uncooked meat. That's why 50% of Filipinos suffer from, from parasites because the barbecue people in such of a hairy, they don't cook the meat all the way, so they eat a lot of the uncooked foods. But I love East House. I tell them, hey, look, cook man all the way till it's crispy. I don't care how long I got to stand there. And that's what I would suggest to you. Know the foods that you're allergic to. A lot of people, a lot of my viewers, they're allergic to seafood over here. And I mean, you know, Philippines has some great seafood, but everybody can can eat them. So know the foods that you're allergic to. Stay away from those foods. And remember, you, at the end of the day, it's your decision. Don't feel that you're going to hurt anybody's feelings by asking them to cook your food a certain way or declining foods if you don't like them. But that's just the way that I've been able to avoid getting sick because I've tried just about everything here. I've eaten in the mountains. In the province, I've eaten in the squatters area, on the street, and I've never gotten sick. Am I lucky? No. I just use my common sense. Now, another thing that I get a lot of questions about is the, the water. And, of course, you don't want to drink the water out of the tap here, but the Philippines has good water, it's cheap. I buy about 10 liters for 25 pesos. We usually get three or four of them every other day. It's okay to take a shower in that water, but be careful, you don't ever want to go in your mouth and swallow any of that. And in most hotels here, they'll tell you that the, the water's not potable you can't drink it. I wouldn't even boil it. I wouldn't even trust it so far as boiling it. Drink it out of the bottled water or go to one of the refilling stations. But that's one of the ways that people here get sick. They drink that water or they because John said for a while he was getting sick. And I was like, well, you're not cooking with this water, are you, John? He said, yeah. See, he was cooking with that water. And I told him, don't do that. Prepare all your meals with filtered water. And you can avoid getting sick. Also, I always keep, even pre-pandemic, I kept a small bottle of alcohol on me for my hands whenever I would especially go in a public restroom or I'm on board one of the ferries or I go visit somebody's house because you know that's an easy way to transfer germs but as far as the Philippines being a cesspool like a lot of people seem to think, it's really not. And just because they do things differently doesn't make them inferior. I've eaten everywhere. I've tried just about all the foods and I've never been sick. Never taken a vaccine here except for the COVID vaccine. And it's basically mandatory here. They may not tell you it is, but... If you want to really enjoy 
the Philippines right now during the pandemic, it's probably a safe bet to go ahead and get vaccinated. Otherwise, you're going to get put through the ringer just to get into the mall. Certainly, if you want to travel. So that was just some things I wanted to talk to you about. And I'm a big fan of getting a physical before I come anyway. That way you will know, you know, was I sick before I got here? You can have more, you can be able to backtrack if you if you do fall ill here and kind of find out where you contracted the illness if you get a physical before you come here to begin with. But if you don't, then who knows when you got sick or where you got sick. But as you can see in St. Carlos City, this place is clean. I had a guy commented yesterday on one of my comments. He said, you're from Kentucky, you're from the United States. But I'm going to talk, how did you get acclimated to being in a, he keeps saying a third world country like the Philippines. In a place like San Carlos City, it's not a lot of adapting that you have to do. That's one of the reasons I'm still here. This place, in some parts of the of San Carlos City, is just like being at home. I mean, it looks like the Midwest in America. And I don't have any problem eating out at the restaurants here. But we very seldom do because Maryland's a great cook. And it gives us peace of mind knowing you know, where our food is being, who's touching it, how it's being cooked. We can follow it along that food chain, so to speak. And that's just some of the things I would suggest when you come over here to visit the Philippines. Or you go anywhere overseas, but specifically here because for some reason this place has a bad reputation. It's a bad rap though, really. 13 years and I've never been sick other than having some type of cold symptoms, probably from touching a dirty doorknob or something. I would say, do your due diligence, use your common sense, and you're not going to have anything to worry about. If you decide to get a vaccine, talk to your doctor, but it's not required to get here. If you want to eat the street foods, which I would suggest you try, it's part of the culture, make sure they cook it all the way done. Do not drink the water out of the tap here. Don't even boil it. The water here is very, very affordable. It's low cost. I buy 10 liters for 25 pesos. That's about 50 cents. You can easily avoid the risk associated with drinking that water out of the tap because most of it's not potable. And they'll tell you it's not. Can you take a shot in it? Absolutely. Get a physical. Be up to date on your health. You may be sick already before you get here. And then you come here and want to blame it on this place, but it's not. You can see it's very, very clean. I've eaten all over this place. In the mountains, in the province, squatters area, on the street. Of course, in my house, I've never had a problem, not one time. So thank you so much for stopping by. I just wanted to talk about that today. I get a myriad of questions about how to avoid getting sick over here. And I just thought I'd do a video today. I think if you just come over here and do the things that you normally do, you're going to have a great time. You're not going to get sick. But know what you can and cannot eat. That has a lot to do with it. Avoid the foods you're allergic to. 
Don't feel bad about turning down a meal, thinking that you're going to make somebody angry or something like that. They'll get over it. So if you're in America, it's late. And I hope before you got in the bed, you were able to help somebody. But if you don't want them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break, and you see somebody in the street, buy them something to drink, buy them something to eat, give them a few dollars. In the Philippines, it's early. I don't know if it's, well, I guess it's about 8.30 a.m. Good morning. You have the whole rest of the day find somebody over to help. No excuse not to help somebody over here. Not a day goes by that I don't help somebody in some type of way here. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID free. And I'll see you next time. Be on the lookout for a video. I'm going back up in the mountains to check that progress on Friday. Also Friday, I'll be doing a video update on the security wall. Of course, on Thursday, we're going to do the panel. Now, I didn't do the panel on Tuesday because of the national championship game. I knew everybody wanted to, to watch that. So take care, everybody.